Okay, so I'm sitting on the floor right in front of my kitchen cabinet. I'm going to go ahead and open the door and let you guys see what is going on in this cabinet. It's pretty messy, but there's one side. I got to move out of the way. There's the other side. It's actually not that bad. If you want to get right down to it. Um, I have a tension bar up here to hang my cleaning cloth so they could totally dry. Which is another reason why I was not going to get another bin because then it'll be in the way. I have these big giant bins. Now this floor was not always like this. The floor was rotting in here because the garbage disposal was leaking when we moved in. So we ripped it up, put new wood in, and put these just cheap peel and stick tiles down. That way it's easy to wipe up and clean. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm just going to pull everything out up here. And like see these big bottles, I don't mind, this is my glass cleaner. I don't even fill this bottle up half the time. So if these work, I might go back and purchase a few more of the, a few more of the Dollar General brand um, bottles. Now this I like because it's my floor cleaner. This is my daily spray floor cleaner. I just spray it to do my quick um, quick mops and it's just labeled with a little label right here. It's kind of crooked. I didn't get it on too straight. That's okay. Then I have rubbing alcohol, which is what I use to make a lot of my cleaners. And I have some bar keepers friend. I love this stuff for scrubbing my stainless steel sink. And I just got some on me. Yay! And then next I'm going to pull out this bin, which has all of my cleaners in it and stuff that I make. And I have one row of paper towels. So I'm going to grab my all-purpose cleaner. This is a bit bottle from the Dollar Tree and this one is not still not broken and neither is this one from the Dollar Tree but I am not holding any, I'm not, I'm holding out on these hopefully not breaking. So I'm going to spray under here so I can kind of clean it up because it's kind of gross. But see we have a garbage disposal and that's why organizing in here is very difficult because all the pipes can get in your way and then it's just like okay you don't want to organize in here so see and all I do is I throw this up there and it's clean it's drying it's clean I don't have to worry about it so I'm gonna go ahead and grab my big bins my stacking bins here you can pull the label off or you can leave the label on I like to pull the label off that way it looks a little bit more You know, like I actually that way it actually you know doesn't look like I just bought them I just stuck them under there wham bam thank you ma'am so I'm gonna go ahead and snap these together so I can get them underneath here and actually, I could probably put another one in here and it would be fine. But see, then I can't see it. So, but I'm going to go ahead and kind of explain to you what I'm going to put in there. What I'm putting in there are like my sponges. I got a lot of these on clearance at Target or at Goodwill. And these are my favorite. There's three sponges in here, but they're really big. So... I usually cut them in half, so then you get a size like this. So I get two sponges out of each one big sponge. So that kind of makes me happy. So I'm gonna put my sponges. I also scored these at Goodwill, the No Scratch Stay Clean from Scotch Bright. I wanted to give these a try. Since these are unopened, um, they're probably going to go just on the bottom. See them stack up quite nicely in there. Now these little sponges, these are just some O-Cedar, I think. We use these when we're cleaning the wall because they have a scrubby side. So yeah, I'm going to put them, I'm just going to set them down here too. But the next thing is my 
Sketch by Scrubber. I actually use this to clean the stainless steel in our sink. Like I just take it and scrub it and scrub it and it's really nice. Go away. You have a trash can in your room. Throw the stick away in your trash can. Sorry. I son. And then these are little pot scrubbers that I buy from a little old lady. She makes them and she puts, I scrub your pots and pans and get them nice and clean. But I will never ever scratch them. I'm just, I just won't be that mean. So she hand makes these little scrubbers and they do don't scratch. And I also, um, I put these through the washing machine and they come out clean and I can reuse them. So we're gonna actually probably sit. I'm gonna put these up top because they're a little bit more important. Now, I have this scrubby brush. This is from um, Target. I use this when I do clean the showers and bathtubs and everything. I use this little brush. And it's got a handle, so what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna see if I can hook it. There we go. Cleaning hose is getting in my way there. I'm actually not gonna push that all the way back because I think I'm actually gonna keep it forward here because I put um, big paper towels and stuff in the back behind them and extra stuff I can put back there or I can put another set of bins back there. But. Okay, and then another thing I like to keep is I have toothbrushes. These are just cheap reach toothbrushes that we use to clean if we need to be. Okay, why are you being ornery? Get in there. Thank you. Okay, these are little aerators that we got. This was here, and then we bought this one when the sprayer was broke. But now we have a new sprayer. Um, we don't need this anymore, but I'm not getting rid of it. I'm going to put them in the bottom bin down here because we're going to leave them at the house when we move. We're probably going to leave them. So this is going to be kind of difficult to try to corral the rest of this stuff. This is my open, actually, whoop, let's just take this down and put it here. And then I'm gonna put my open sponge here. Like I said, nothing is perfect. It's a sci it's not a science. You know, organizing is an everyday occurrence. Well, I'll get you a cup in just a second, Memphis. This is my OXO scrubby brush. We have soap in it and I can use this when I want to wash the dishes too. See, we're going to try to set all these up in here. And then these are the extra strips of the tile. In case, you know, we have a rip or something, I can use these to kind of fix it. So I'm just going to slide these right here. So. Now you kind of saw what I use these little shelves for. I'm going to go ahead and reorganize the rest of the cabinet, which you can't even see the shelves. There's my shelves. Sorry. I'm going to go ahead and reorganize the rest of the cabinet and show you in a minute. Be back. Hey guys, so you just saw the before under my kitchen sink. Sorry about the hair. It's a, my hair goes curly now, so I'm trying to figure out how to style it without hitting it with a straightener. Um, so you saw the before under my kitchen sink and now I would love to show you guys the after what I did and how I did it for little actually I think I did it for no money yeah no no little sorry little to no money. Uh, I added a few new things under there since I originally did it so I decided to show it to you guys now as a fully complete under the kitchen organization. So I'm going to take you off the tripod and I'm going to show you. So, whoa, you're really close to my kitchen cabinet. But here's my kitchen, you know, two cabinets right here. 
what it looks like pretty much standard standard practice and when you open the doors we have one of these lovely irritating things in the middle but I'm gonna break it down for you exactly what I did so first thing is I did purchase these two items from the Dollar Tree they hold this top section holds my sponges and my scrubbies and my these little guys are awesome for cleaning sippy cups and like the plastic straws from um, like to reusable cups and I got these at Goodwill for 99 cents but you can get them at Walmart for three dollars and something you get a bunch more so I got a scrub brush another one from Dollar Tree the sponges sometimes fall over so they are usually up like that but they sometimes fall down so it's okay and down here some cleaning sponges some aerators that were here but I'm thinking about putting the trash bags here and putting this stuff here just the trash bag we get into all the time so here's my green bin that just came from the Dollar Tree that we already owned so I'm gonna go ahead and do a swip swap for you and show you that's basically how I'm gonna do that and I'm gonna put my trash bags over here because it's easy to just pull one out so but this is got my barkeeper's friend which I use to scrub the sink down it's one of the few cleaners I actually purchase I could use baking soda but I bought this to try to get some stuff off of my burnt on my pots and pans that didn't work my rubbing alcohol which I used to make my um, <laughs> my disinfecting spray and I used in my floor cleaner is right here and this just came from Dollar Tree and so I thought these were green I'll do green here too now this is what changed this is a Tupperware container that my mom had this is where I store like my cleaning brushes and stuff this is new so I haven't got it didn't get but that's where I store them it didn't have a lid on it so she really wasn't using it so she gave it to me but I store all my brushes in here even my OXO one that has soap in it I store in here and then the back I have my uh, scrub brush from Target basically I just slip it over the side and it sits there this is a Golden Harvest focus canning jar and this is where uh, my dishwasher tabs I put in there these are the lemon shine ones they're probably my favorite and they just sit right here and then this is I bought some stuff from Goodwill and it was in this bin and it fits better in here so this is where all of my cleaning chemical cleaning products that I make go I don't have a huge cleaning caddy or anything but if you do want to look at a cleaning caddy video um, cleanmyspace.com she has an amazing one but I just like having them under here I am going to get probably something to use for a cleaning caddy but I don't want to store my cleaners in there I have my dish soap my Dawn dish soap one thing fell oh this is new stuff we just bought it's duo dish it's the first combination it's hand wash hand dishwashing plus auto dishwashing this is also eco-friendly and we picked this up at high V. but if we like it we're gonna see about ordering it from Amazon it's by earth friendly products and it does work really well and I've then it's I don't have to buy dish deterred hand wash stuff and auto stuff so that saves me some money Ooh, it kind of leaked yeah it fell over and kind of leaked so I'm gonna need to uh, pull out my bin and clean under there then I have no idea what that is it's gunk this whole house is just so yeah that's all my clean this is my collapsible dish pan and I store paper towels back here I get mine from the Dollar Tree basically I'm going to pull this out and I like how it slides out it's nice now back here I went to Lowe's and this was on sale for a dollar because the top was broken and this is like a liter 1.12 liters of Dawn dish soap and I use it in everything so I had to buy it now back here are my big cleaning products now there are a couple that I have I do purchase so I'm gonna go ahead and tell you about those I have the seventh generation wood cleaner this cleans and conditions and I try to use this 
you know, when I clean my table and stuff, you know, I don't use it every day because it is kind of pricey, but I do use it quite often. So I like to have that. And then another one that I do purchase to clean my cabinets is, and this is 98 natural, percent natural too. This is the Murphy's Oil Soap. Safely cleans wood. So I could probably use this on the table, but I save this for my cabinets and stuff spring cleaning. And I just hit my tension rod. And then the only other thing I buy I love is this. This is a new product I just found. It's called the Original Crud Cutter. It's earth friendly. Um, it says designed for the environment, US EPA. It's non toxic, biodegradable. And this is what I use to clean the walls, get the kids' fingerprints and stuff off. This does not really work really well on crayon. It didn't do a good job on crayon, but it did do really well on just nasty fingerprints and stuff. So that's the few products that I do buy. And you can buy a big bottle of the card cutter and concentrate it down to the little bottle. And this big bottle is my floor cleaner for spot cleaning. Now if you hear that rattling, there's a tension rod up here, and this is where I hang my cleaning products when they need to dry. So yeah, and I also have a box of trash bags back here, which I'm going to go ahead and put in here so it's all nice and neat. But this, here's a good overview of under the cabinet. So it's nice and organized and clean and I can see everything, find everything, and I can still utilize my space back behind the garbage disposal and the pipes by just putting some taller items and using these bins in the front to corral the smaller items. And I literally spent, I think this was 50 cents at a thrift store. And then these were a dollar a piece at Dollar General. So that makes me super happy. And then this was free from my mom. So, I mean, I think it looks great. It's all nice and clean. I can find my cleaning products super easy. And I have labeled all of mine. So that makes it super easy to find and quick to find. Oh! Oh, one more cleaning product I do buy is the Pledge Multi-Surface, and that's specifically for the electronics. <sighs> Cleans our TV. So yeah, that's my under the cabinet sink. Yeah, so I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope it helped you um, find some creative ways to organize under your sink, especially if you have like a garbage disposal and pipes and everything in your way. Um, I'm really sorry that I've been absent so long from filming. I've just been super busy with the consignment sale. It is coming up really soon. And, um, yeah. And I've just been gathering things for that. And I went yard sailing myself on Saturday. So, I've been super busy. But I'm going to try to get some things up today. And this kitchen video is going to be one of them. I'm going to go work on it here real soon. So, hope you guys have a great day. If you have any questions on um, organizing things you'd like to know or... If you want to post pictures of your um, under the cabinet sink on Instagram, yes, my profile is private on Instagram, but if you just click the request, you know, I will, uh, I can go ahead and follow you. Or if you want to post pictures of it on Twitter, send me like some twit pics of your cabinets or anything and you need help organizing, just let me know. Uh, or you want to do a video response to this and I might, you know, help you guys organize underneath your cabinet. So I hope you guys have a great day and I'll see you later. Bye.